back on everybody. We are in the Dominican Republic, in the middle of nowhere. It's the country of the flow. We got beautiful beaches. We got amazing mountains and beautiful people. And we are about to do the right review of the cover athlete of the year 2024 for the show. Llévalo, llévalo, llévalo. Te vas o te quedas. Dale, dale. I gotta go with this guy right here, but I'm about to show you what's gonna happen. Ay. Vamos, vamos, dale. Lo fuimos. Dímelo mío. Hey, hey, what's up, gang, gang? What's up, dog? What's going on? What's going on? on? Glad you. Yeah. What's up, baby? Okay. Hey, man, first time in the country. Tell me about it. Oh, it's a beautiful country. I don't know why it's taking me so long to come here. So thank you all for having us. We were so happy to be here revealing the cover of MLB The Show 24 in the most realistic, organic way possible here in the Dominican Republic. Well, this always in the first time, you know, I mean, I was part of it 17 years ago and now having the right reveal of the cover of the year uh, for 2024 is uh, it's something amazing. I like you. You know, tú sabes que lo que es. Yeah, man. Tell me about it, man. I love the island, man. I'm Puerto Rican, as you guys know, but DR is always going to be my, my second home. The food's amazing. People's amazing. And home with one of the, of the best baseball players in the world mm. in the history. You already know. You already said it all. Like you guys know as well, MLB is always taking care of business. This bus is right in the front by a guy that we call the pitcher. He's the one in charge of making sure that everybody's comfortable and everybody knows the place to go and where to make the stops. I'm kind of getting familiar with sitting down here. You know, I kind of miss this right here. This boss ride and stuff like that. Ah, man. When I was like around 17, when I first signed as a professional ball player, this is what used to take me to the field, you know, this type of boss. So I'm kind of familiar with it. So get used take to it. Take you back to memory lane. That's right. <laughs> but you know, here in the Dominican, man, I mean, you're going to see so many buses like this one or motorcycle everywhere everywhere <laughs> everywhere because traffic is crazy it's yeah. worse than la traffic that's well, right here and in, in, in christmas yes try to go to like la capital oh boy it's crazy. from here it's crazy. to the crazy. corners like an hour he get crazy he crazy, get crazy. so like best way to go is you know motorcycle mopeds you'll uh -huh. see two two on top three you've been on the cover before how how did it feel for you being on the cover and being back working with MLB The Show again. I'll tell you what, man, I was so excited. Because you know what? Being a number B athlete, being young, getting to know that all the people your age are gonna be playing with you, is something that turned out to be very exciting to me back you. then. Home Run Derby? Home Run Derby. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I'll be whacking 30. 30. That's right, that's right. 30 or something. That's Real right. Big poppy. No breaks. You know how it is? I mean, the most important thing is that once you get to see that cover for the first time, that he home. The funny part about it, when I was part of the cover was, when I was handing to my family and friends, everybody was like, oh wow, is that you? I'm like, yes, that's me. <laughs> no, no, and as a Latino, that's, that's, a, that's, big a, big, no, a, that's big a big inspiration for all of us. Everyone in the Caribbean, everyone in Latin America, per se, you know, you see everyone, Kids from Venezuela saying, oh, I could do that. Yep, oh, you big, representation big is important. That's right. Y'all yeah. did it. It's uh, we can do it. It's just motivation. It was motivation. Yeah, we love all our cover athletes, That's but right. all of our Latin American cover athletes, it just hits differently. That yeah, source of family hit. pride and everybody seeing it, it's just really been amazing. Yeah. It's, and, 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 and let me tell you, me personally, this kid that we're about to have on the cover for next year, his family to me. I don't want to give more details. <laughs> people will guess it. I, yeah, people gonna know who I'm talking about. But it's gonna happen soon yes, enough. Yes, but be patient because we're going there now. I know this is a little shaky <laughs> right here. Tranquilo. Oh, man. 
so glad to have you here, man. Our community is probably so happy that you're on the cover because, you know, we've had this relationship with you for a while. We're super excited. How excited are you and your family and also to have your friends be a part of this? Man, I'm I'm excited, you know. I've been playing with it since I was a little kid and now I'm on the cover, you know. I'm really excited. We're here in the DR because we want it to be very authentic and to be able to tell your story. So tell us how you started playing baseball as a little kid to today. Now you're on the cover of MLB The Show 24. I started with my dad, you know, doing tea, now like four or five years. Then I started to do fry out. But when I know I, I got everything in me is when I got like 13, 12. And my dad told me, hey, you, you probably doing better than me. But I said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I know this kid since he was like seven or eight years old. I remember when we used to come to Anaheim to play. I personally used to go to Vladdy's house. Walking into the house, this guy was swinging at everything at the age of seven. <laughs> and I used to be like, Vladdy, did he ever get tired? He's like, that's what he do all day. <laughs> And Eladio, how do you oh, know that? Man, damn, we through through music and sports, man. Like That's right. I've always said, you know, music and sports always go hand to hand. Mm -hmm. They listen to us, and we are amazed at what they do. Like they find what we do amazing, we find what they do amazing also. That mutual like, respect. Baseball and the DR are like connected at the hip. Where do you think that real strong connection between the sport of baseball and the DR in Latin America in general started? Because you know, Major League Baseball is one of the most diverse sports out there. It's over 30% Latin American players. Where do you think that all started? Well, first of all, it became to be in a sport that is, is basically on our blood, you know? But then, it became to be a way out. It's a way out for us that they cut our family to have a better lifestyle, you know, because a lot of us, we come from nothing, you know what I'm saying? So once we figured out that baseball, it's a way out, we take that personal. We learn the discipline, the dedication, you know, all the stuff that comes along with, and we, here we are, you know, making a difference. And you see a lot of stories, like a lot of backgrounds, and you see like a certain pattern, a lot of great players went through a certain type of struggle. Mm -hmm. And that's part of, you know, greatness. And like, especially a lot of the stories in the yard, like people having to walk to the field four hours, having to take buses for a couple hours just to like, to see if they get a spot on the team. You know, that's something you see here. Vladdy, how does it feel to have your cover reveal for MLB The Show 24 happen in your hometown in the Dominican Republic? For me, that's, that's amazing, you know. You grow up here and you bring it here to a hometown. It's, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we were talking earlier, like this is the first time we've done this. Cause normally like you came to San Diego a That's few right. times. Normally we'll have everybody come to the studio, but we was like, no, let's be more intentional. Let's start to tell deeper stories about our cover athletes and their culture and their heritage and the music that they love. Because we love sharing. And baseball is one of those sports that just brings people together. So one, thank y'all so much for amazing hospitality we've had since we've been here. Your family has been incredible treating us like kings. We ain't going to leave. <laughs> y'all gonna have to kick us out. Stay throughout Christmas. <laughs> So we're about to get to a very important place in the Dominican Republic baseball players' heritage and lifestyle and how they grew up. Can you tell us about that growing up here, playing baseball and where we're about to go see? I grew up walking all the street, going everywhere, you know, and and this is my favorite field, you know. This is your favorite field? Yeah, this one. Out of all of them? Yeah, that one. Why is it so special? Because that one is the one that saw me crying. So me grow up, you know, and that's why right. it made me like happy to to come here and show you guys. It's like home. Yeah, it's, it's like another home. Yeah. And, it, and the baseball field still here, still standing. It's Kids still are still here. playing there. Yeah. This is basically his backyard right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, there is always that one place where you grow up, that one place that you know. You can go to the best stadium on earth, even once you get to the big league, in that one place is gonna be staying right here. So. I'm pretty sure that's how you feel about this place. Your yeah, home is where the heart is. Llegamos! Vamos a ver! El mejor pitcher guapo de esta vaina! Hey! A ver! The Academy of Baseball. This is the field I grew up. 
When you're starting to play here, the little one, six to eight, and the other side, eight to 10, and the left field. On left field. 11 to 12, and the center field, and 13 to 14 here. So it's multiple games yeah. going on at and, once. And, and, and uh, 15, 16 playing the big and the, the big one. No way, yeah. that's crazy. And David, you said you remember playing this field too. There weren't any walls, right? No, no, yeah, when I came here, he was a little kid, his father invited me to a softball game here and uh, it was no wall, it was it was basically in a space in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But I was wondering how many times you hit that building over there. Look the screen, they put it for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they build the screen up so he don't hit the house. Vamos rolling. Vamos, vamos. There you go. Ah, para la bola, ¿viste? Come on, little puppy, let's go. Yeah, that's oh, ah, oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> Quiero ser como tú. Dale, ve acá. Y como yo no. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is where you hone your skills. Yeah. Like, not, not only is this home, but this is literally your neighborhood. My neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. you live like right down the street. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's right. What is this? These fields. Now that there's a wall, there's so many kids playing. What do these fields really mean to you and your community as you're trying to hone your skills and potentially get to that next level of yeah, baseball play? That, that means a lot, you know, and we, we work in trying to pull lights, so lights and heels, you know, so we work in and do a lot of stuff in this field. You know, it, it, we grew up here. My dad, like, really grew up here without... No walls. No wall, no doghouse, nothing. Do you ever think that you'd be here? To be honest, no, because I wasn't that good at baseball when I was a kid. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty good fielding, but I was so afraid of the ball, bro, I couldn't do it. But, you know, God had another plan, so through the music, you know, I could be here with, with two legends today, man. Yeah, that's what's And up. I'm really good friends with them, so that's the best part of it, That's too. crazy how just this sport really brings people together from all sorts of cultures and communities. It, it's like a universal language. You know, even yeah. though I may not speak Spanish, we can speak baseball. Yeah, that's like, right. We, we yeah. can see the sport that's being played right. on the But field. Ramon, let me tell you, Eladio, for us, means everything. You know, I mean, we don't go and take over the field without music. There's not one player that go out there without putting their headset on or playing the music in the clubhouse to get motivated because his words, look at how I get good bumps when I talk yeah. about that. Like, like when we listen to his music, we, let's go. That's crazy, that's, that's You know crazy. what I'm saying? This is where we come from. Baseball player in the Dominican, I guarantee you that every baseball player you meet here grew up in something like this. I did it a gazillion years ago. He did it the other day. He's a kid. Me and his dad, we go back, you know, growing up together, playing together. It seems like things never change. You mentioned that this is the earliest baseball field you remember playing on. What is one of your earliest baseball memories? I have a lot, you know, and, uh, but I like to talk about my dad when I when I was a little and you know seeing here and see Ed Poppy, my dad playing here so but you know like little kid you know and and then grow up and play here in the same in the same field you know made me like okay I'm doing it you know I'm doing it and and now I'm the cover you know it's it's amazing full circle. Yeah. Wait, pero señores, pero vámonos, vámonos, que hace hambre, hombre, vámonos. Vamos a comer, vamos a comer. Vamos a comer. Let's go eat, let's go eat. Bueno, pues vámonos entonces. Vamos a ir ahora, vámonos, vámonos. El piche siempre anda ready. Ah, claro. Claro. Tengo hambre. Voy el piche no me da. Can't wait to talk about food. Vladi, Lario, you guys been crushing Dominican food for years. I know you into the fried chicken. El sancocho. El sancocho. Los sancocho plátanos. Bueno. Dime. Plátanos, lo mejor que hay. Ay, papá, when you, you try the Dominican plantain. Plátanos, fritos con pollo. But I'm going to tell you what, man. Once you try the fried chicken from here, you're going to want to put them in the movie. 
<laughs> you know, I had some very good fried chicken in my day as a man from the South, so I'm excited about this. What was the other dish? Uh, you Sancocho. Sancocho. Yeah. What's that? But that, like, oh, there's, there's different varieties of Sancocho. Like, they have Colombian Sancocho, Puerto Rican Sancocho. For me, I'm Puerto Rican, and I gotta say, man, Dominican Sancocho, that's it's amazing, bro. It's, it's another level, huh? It's, like, it's, like a, like a, it's just like a gumbo. That's right. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's like a gumbo. Like, I get excited for food, man. So I know what your favorite food is, then. Yeah, it's, 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 it's up there. That's top three. What's your favorite food, Vlad? Mine is moro guandule con chivo. What's that? This uh, rice and and then goat. Yeah. Yeah. I love me some goat. <laughs> goat eating goat. That's right. He goes eating goat. I like That's that. Right. <laughs> goat. That's right. Goat eating goat. By the way, his abuela, his Grammy, she is an amazing cook. She made food for the home team and the visitor. Whatever come in town, it's already lined up to try Grammy's food. Hey, everybody, once they get to first base, they dance his Grammy every time they get a hit because of the food. <laughs> because of the food. <laughs> yeah, well, man, I'm telling you, we baseball players, we are crazy. You eat and you do good, you playing on the food. <laughs> playing on the food. <laughs> Michelle, ¿para dónde vamos? Oh, pues tú vas a ver dónde vamos, para el pica pollo, manito. Yeah, pica pollo, say pica, pica pollo. Pica pollo. Pica pollo, yeah. When you come to the yard, you want to ask for food, just know those words, pica pollo, tostones. Señores, llegamos a la comilona. Ah, vamos arriba, vamos arriba, vamos arriba. Vamos a esto. Había eso, vamos. Lo mejor, lo mejor. Saludos, Juan. Saludos. Ella, yo me imagino llevar eso ahí. Sí, sí, yo estoy pendiente, estoy pendiente a todo. Uy, ya no, sí. Man, I see you guys being shy. Cuando más duro de lo que hacemos. David wasted no time. Yo, Juan, que también, yo, sin miedo. Ay, 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 ay
Man, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, like I think Latin American music is, a, is in a very, very special place right now. A place where, you know, we're being appreciated by other cultures, like we are supposed to be appreciated, you know, like we have really good music, we have really good, you know, artists who, who work really hard. And it's just, it's cool to see like the whole world, like just tune in to see what we're gonna do next. 100%, how important is it for you and for you, for y'all to have the right walk-up <clears throat> music? What, what does that do for you as you walk into the battle's box or getting ready for a game? I tell you what, Ramon, people sometimes don't realize that we are humans. We have issues just like everybody else. When you take that feel, for a lot of people, they think we are superheroes. You know, music, the lyric that they put together is the day-by-day -day lifestyle, especially for us coming from nothing. That's why we connect so well. Before I go to play, you know, and then I listen to my man music, his lyric. The music take things for us to a whole type of different level. Like for example, you know, I have so many different walk-up songs, but the walk-up song that I use on the field were things related to my, my personal life, my lifestyle, the way I grew up, things that I connect me with, you know what I'm saying? What's that connection like for you, you know, picking your walk-up music, you know, being able to choose one of your really good friend's music as your walk-up music and having him be such a big star? Me and him is like, like brothers, and when, when you listen to his music, you can, they impact me, they, they got like something they say that happened in my life, so that's why they say, okay, Ladi always. Connections. Yeah, always. The connections, you know, it's, it's, yeah. Señores. Pero no queda una parada más, vámonos. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. I'm taking my coconut. Gracias. Yo soy tan loco como él. Yo te diré que es tan tal. Que él tiene un álbum. Lo va a sacar en enero. We've been talking about music for a while, and I keep hearing that, and I've seen this. The vibe in the stadiums here in the DR at baseball games is completely different. The energy's crazy, the music is loud, the music is playing. Why is that? What's that connection going on there? Well, first of all, us Dominican, we are loud. <laughs> <laughs> we loud at everything, you know what I'm saying? So what is going on at the stadium while we play is very familiar with what we do, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we basically breathe through baseball. You know, baseball means a lot to this country in a type of way that whenever we're playing winter ball here, guy like Vladdy decided to play. There's a lot of people in this country that they can't travel to the state to watch us play. And whenever they get the opportunity to watch us play here in our own country, it's another level type of experience. Like a party or celebration. Like it's, 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 it's very intense. You know what I'm saying? I always require the guys, hey, listen, whenever you can or have the opportunity to play in the Dominican, go and live the experience. Because that builds you up for the next step, which is the MLB. By the way, it's more pressure, your family watching you play, than it someone is. that know you, yeah. don't know you watch you play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, they always want you to come through, and when you don't, the whole talk, yeah. After the game, it's like, why you did this? Why you do that? Man, I'm telling you. Why you take that pitch? You know why what I'm saying? It's pitch? a lot of pressure. So it's, it's less pressure when you're in Major League oh, than when you're playing me. at home. Believe me. <laughs> so guys, as you know, 17 years ago, I was on the cover of the show. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> and uh, I said, right now, we're going to see the cover. How my man look in it. <laughs> Oh, here we are. Yeah, that's right. So you've been playing MLB The Show for a while, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Why do you love the game so much? I like I like the competition. You know, I like playing Diamond Dynasty with other people. So what about Road to the Show, Home Run Derby? Derby, nobody can beat me. Oh, nobody can nobody. beat you a Home Run Derby. We're going to have to find out about that. 
I'm pretty good at home run derby, man. Once I get my mojo going, you know, it's, it's, it's something to play on tour. All right, so we've been riding around, had something to eat, we got something to drink. Now we're going to play some home run derby and see if you're as good as you really say you are. Uh, home run derby. How did it feel playing in a home run derby this year and winning it? You know, I, I went to one 2019 and lost it. So I take a lot of bites with Papi, with my dad, and, and Came I say, back with I, I, I has to win this one. You know that I'm I always I, I always get on Griffey because in real life, I beat him in the home run derby when he was in the big league and I was in able. No way. <laughs> I always talk a lot of trash to him. I bet he don't like that either. Oh my God. <laughs> no, he don't I'm like that. You. Yeah, get out. All right, now we cooking with some gas. That's going. I know you got it, you got the motion, you got motion. How tired do y'all get when you play in a home run derby? How tiring is it? Oh, that wear you out. Where's you out? That wear you oh, out. Oh, not both. I had a home run derby the other day in my eye, because I do a, a, thanks, like a Thanksgiving, sauce giving event, and he comes every year, and they, they, they show love, they do a little home run derby. I did it the two minutes. My ribs, <laughs> my back. I got sick and everything. I was, I, I was hard, I was hard. Okay, I'm finding my, oh, that didn't get out. Gotta get some juice. Papi, oh, All right. Pop. I'll start, I'll start. Like you better make me look good. <laughs> can't, I can't make Papi look bad. There you go. There you go. Is Diamond Dance your favorite mode? Yes, that's my favorite Why? Why? Because I get compete with other people that I, that I know. Sometimes we play with people we don't know, you know? Right. I like beat him. <laughs> you like beating him? Yeah. You know, you've been playing MLB The Show for so long. Was there ever a moment as a kid where you were playing the game and it really helped unlock anything in you to help you achieve something? No, it still helped me. When you saw a minor league new rookie coming up, I just go to uh, MLB and you The go to Show MLB and, the show and, and I, see, the game. I see how many pitches he got, you know, and and how hard he throw. It's different, but when I go to a play, I, I, I really it got it. It gives you like, something. Oh, yeah. Somewhere man, Something like, okay. You know, we've done this ride to reveal here in your hometown. Like, you live literally down the street. So, one, thank you for, you know, being so open with us. You know, your family has been so gracious. Can you just talk to us and wrap it all up about just what all of this means to you to be able to share a part of your culture with the MLB The Show fans? Well, first of all, when you come from a third world country, there's a lot of like, opportunity, you know? And, and whenever you get the opportunity to do something for you and your family, you're gonna grab that into the last minute, you know, and, and, and try to to take things to the next next level and, and make that different. The Spanish uh, heritage is something that uh, throughout the history, there's so many people that have made that different that we know. And why not be one of them? Why not, you know, try to show the whole world what you are capable of? I mean, everybody talk about building up a legacy once you're done in life, because that's when that's when legacy begin, you know. And and, and my man Eladio and the music, building his he's legacy. building up a legacy. I Bring tell you, bills. people gonna be talking about him forever because of what he do. Bloody thing, you know. This is a kid that, like I say, I'm very proud of him because. All he want to do is get better and better and better. Like this guy call you out of nowhere, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think I should do with this? What do you think I should do with that? He's young, but he's mature enough to continue building up and trying to figure out getting advice from his olders, you know? And me, I'm done with baseball a long time ago, but you never start learning. You never start learning, life continues. Yeah. And you know, Going back to you, Vlad, how does it feel to have all of this like be happening? Because you're still building your legacy, mm -hmm. right? I can call a lot of a lot of people and and try to just talk about family, just talk about how how I can get better, like like a person, not like a player. Mm -hmm. Because like a player, it's easy. You can go and play hard, and that's it. But outside, you have to learn a lot of things that can happen. And, and the moment you don't want to happen, happen something wrong. In that case, I don't want to be in that case never. You know, that's why I got Poppy, everybody, my dad, Pedro, you know, Eladio, you know. I you can have take, so much support. I can take advice from them. Yeah. And I feel good because we work for that. And then when you, when you see a little kid come to you and 
one official that made me proud of myself. You know, that I've been doing the, the thing like in my life. Yeah, you know? your role model. Yeah. Your role so, model of so many people. Yeah. Yeah, which is just amazing. A lot of you, to bring it to you, obviously the DR loves you. Like you just had a few concerts here, all sold out, it's crazy. Just how does it feel for you to be a part of all of this and just to see all the love that you get from the DR? Man, it's, it's amazing because me personally, and people who hear my music know that I make my music with a lot of love, a lot of intention, a lot of purpose. So the main reason why people really like, you know, you know, mess with my music is just because of that. And just to feel that genuine love, because you know, artists sometimes they get, if you're popping, you're hot, they love you. If you're not, they don't love you anymore. Me, I just feel like it's more genuine because of the message that we're giving, right. especially to the youth, you know. These past albums, we were talking more to the kids, like le talking less about, you know, things that don't matter, you know, trying to be trying to be light, you know, just a role model, like, you know, Papi said, like Bali said. Because, you know, we got this gift that's been given to us and we have to do the best that we can to use it in the best way possible. You've been on the cover before, you've worked with us before, your dad's been on the cover. Now that torch is getting passed to you, you're about to see your cover for the first time. Did you ever think that this would happen to you? Yeah. yeah. He came out hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he came out hot. That's why. For sure, but I didn't even know that fast, but. Oh, you didn't know it was that fast. I like that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I never doubt my boy, you know, being able to be on the cover of the show. And it's because you know what he's doing out there. He's the type of player that he want to be better and get better. He do his own work. And that's what this game is all about, improving every year, giving the fans what they expect from you. And he's putting up with the challenge. There it is. And it's a celebration. Like, all the hard work you've put in is for, like, moments like this where your friends and your family can be around and, and celebrate such an amazing accomplishment. Yeah. So we're really happy having you on the cover. Really happy you being here. And a lot of you are so happy that no, you Thank you for doing here. this, man. Like, you know, just this initiative and, like, you being out here and, like, digging into, to, you know, our, their culture. It's amazing. So I appreciate you. Oh, no, in. appreciate y'all. Like, yeah, thank, thank you so much. It's so amazing. Hey, tengo una cosa que enseñar. ¿Cómo tú estás? blue background, you got your home run derby trophy, you got your signature, you know, we had to put your flag in there. Music, like we've been talking all day, is such a big part of Latin American culture. We have the music notes in there. We really, when we were creating this cover, we really wanted to feel very authentic to you and your heritage and where you come from. So hopefully we did a good job. Thank you, that's great, man. Thank you. Another amazing day in my country, the Dominican Republic, my boy Blady Jr. once again representing Blady Sr. and myself, passing the torch to that young generation of players coming up. Very proud of my boy Blady Jr. being on the cover of the show 2024. God bless you, see you when I see you, and I gotta go back and play.